Today, I wanna to share with you my favorite iPad accessories for musicians, especially those of you that are Foursquare users. This will make your Foursquare experience easier, faster, and more stress-free. See, I've been an iPad musician for over 10 years, and I have rarely ever had any type of problem thanks to these accessories. In fact, I even hate going back to paper now. It's so much more work reading off paper now. So I have four accessories that I think are mandatory for all Foursquare users but I'll also have some bonus accessories at the end that I think are just fun and will also help take your iPad musician experience just to the next level. So let's dive in. So the first accessory that I don't think many people think about is a battery backup. This is the Anchor Power Bank. Thanks to this wonderful little accessory, I never have to worry about forgetting to charge my iPad or my iPad battery dying if I've been practicing or rehearsing or performing all day long, especially uh, on a stage with some bright lights where the, the screen just sucks up the battery life. So I never have to worry about the iPad battery running out. Uh, so it, things that I love about this particular one, it has a built-in cable that also serves as a uh, carrying device. So this works super well if you forget a cable. It has the old USB-A, the big kind of rectangular one you might think of. It also has the new USB-C in addition, so I can charge three devices uh, at a time. Uh, this one is a USB-C itself, so two USB-Cs and one usb -A. Another great thing is the USB-C's could be input or output for either charging this battery or taking this and charging your device. So you don't have to worry about which one is an input, which one is an output for either charging this or your other devices. Uh, it has the percentage right on it. So you can see that I have been using this one. It's now at 78% last weekend. I used my phone all day long. Uh, and at the end of the day, I charged it overnight. Uh, and so it's only at 78% after charging my phone to full capacity twice. I just love that this thing has a large capacity. It has 20,000 milliamp hours. And again, I'm not, I'm not an expert on all, how all of this works, uh, but this has 20,000 milliamp hours. Uh, an average iPad is going to be around the 10 to 11,000 milliamp hours, uh, or a phone might be to three or four on average milliamp hours. So this could charge a phone quite a few times. It could charge an iPad almost twice. And I even did a test, right, where I wanted to see from, uh, I took my iPad, it was at 2%. I plugged it in, left it alone, see how long would it take. It took about two and a half, almost three hours to charge my iPad from that 2% to 100%. And this was still at 45%, right? So it could have charged it almost uh, completely again. I love that it's small, easily portable. Honestly, I just keep it in my bag. Then I, I'm good to go if anything should ever happen. All right, now getting into some four score specific accessories. This was the Air Turn Duo 500. I've seen musicians have a lot of Bluetooth pedals. I've tried out a lot of them from either my students or fellow musicians. And honestly, this one is uh, hands down the best. Uh, there's some others that are pretty close in price point, but this is just a little bit more and it's honestly worth it. This is the second one I've had. The first one lasted 10 years easily. It was getting a little sluggish with its response to time. So I figured after 10 years, it was time to upgrade. And I really love the upgrades that this one has. It's a, so much easier to turn it on and off, to set it up, you're good to go. It's got forward and back. And I just love that it's super easy to turn the page. It's not really a button, it just senses is it flexing, which is really nice. There's not gonna be a click, it's completely silent, which is really needed for the type of music I perform at times. So just to break that down, with, with my previous one lasting for 10 years, that's about $10 a year, meaning less than a dollar a month uh, to have really fast, clean, reliable page turns, right? I have never really had a problem with this. The only time is I have user error because I didn't actually put it under my foot when it was time to turn the page. Uh, other things, the battery lasts forever. I, I so rarely have to charge this thing. So iPad's really nice. You can have on your home screen a little widget that has the battery health for all of your connected devices through Bluetooth. So you can see here, it's got my iPad's battery health and it's got my Apple Pencil's battery health and this Bluetooth symbol, this is for the page turner. So you can see my page turner's battery health, which I love that I always know when do I need to start charging it soon. It's also great that this uses USB-C to charge it, meaning that you could charge your iPad and your page turner at the same time with this battery backup. And last but not least, it's super lightweight. Honestly, I keep this in my iPad bag as well with uh, my battery backup, so I'm good to go turning pages and keeping my battery health full. Another one that I, I see a lot of people use, but I really just wanna make sure you really know, it's really worth having the true Apple Pencil. This is the second generation, so it has the, the tap feature. If you double tap, you can change it from write mode to erase mode, so it's really wonderful. I, for the longest time, didn't have the Apple Pencil. It was probably five years that I thought I was fine using my finger to try to do some annotations. 
and it kind of worked. Uh, but then uh, a student of mine was actually generous enough to donate one of his old ones that he had. So I used a generation one for quite a long time and it changed my life. It made things so much easier. My annotations were quicker to put on the page. Uh, they were much cleaner. So when I came back, I actually could read them and knew what in the world I was trying to say. Uh, it's so quick. I just pull it out and I start writing and Fourscore will just enter annotation mode. It makes things so much quicker, especially in rehearsal when it's crunch time, you're going quickly and you don't have a lot of time before the conductor wants to start again. Uh, things that I love about this second generation one, it's magnetic. So it clips right along the side. So it's always there. I never have to worry about, did I forget it in the bag or something? It's always with my iPad. I just love that the magnetic clip also charges it, so I never ever have to worry about it being fully charged at all. It just is always good to go. It's lightweight and well balanced. It just it feels really natural, like I'm actually using uh, a regular pen or pencil or something. Personally, I don't think you need to splurge on the new Apple Pencil Pro that they've released. I think that's more for artists. I think the second generation works super well. Finally, on, on, on these uh, accessories, I like to put my address label on them as well, just because they're pretty expensive uh, and I, I rely on them so much. I wanna make sure that if for some reason I did forget them uh, on stage or something, they got lost that they could find their way back to me. So I put my phone number and my address on there so they're, everyone knows who they belong to. Finally, you just gotta make sure you have a case. I see so many musicians that don't have a case at all, and it's, it takes no time at all for their very big investment of the iPad to, for the screen to be shattered, or something breaks, uh, it gets damaged in transit, they throw it in their bag, and it just, it just doesn't last. So please, 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 splurge, get a case that is reliable and is protected all the way around. You really want to make sure you protect your investment. I, I, there's so many good cases out there, so I'm not going to re recommend a specific one, specifically because this one that I really love uh, is discontinued. So uh, I just put a link to a bunch of Amazon ones that you can, you can choose from, uh, but they're really, really great. Some things you might want to look for in a case. Specifically, I wanted one where the Apple Pencil was in the case itself and protected. And again, always there whenever you need it. Easy to get in and out. Uh, I liked this kind of leather feel to it. I felt like it looked pretty professional so I could bring it out on stage. I chose a dark color for that as well. So I don't have to take it in and out when I'm performing. I can just leave it there, keep it protected at all times. Uh, another thing, I liked that the corners are protected all the way around. I see some iPads where they try to cut corners on the case design, so some of the edges are exposed. So that's what I looked for. I wanted everything to be pretty well protected all the way around on the iPad. So those are the four accessories I think every musician that's reading music from their iPad needs. Uh, these next ones aren't necessarily... Uh, mandatory, but I think that they make your music experience a little more enjoyable. Uh, so the first one is a Bluetooth keyboard. The thing I love about this, it's Bluetooth. I don't need any wires that connect to my iPad. It works great with, uh, say, a DAW if you're trying to create music on your iPad. Uh, so you just turn it on, you're good to go with GarageBand or something. It also works spectacularly for music notation. So I, I do quite a bit actually with Dorico on my iPad. So Bailey's has another good app you could use. There's a, quite a few others that I'm sure you could use just as well. Um, but I love with music notation, it's really, really quick. And I chose this nice little two octave one. It's super portable. It fits in my bag pretty nicely, uh, but sometimes I wish I had just a few more keys. So I think at the 37 key, the, the three octave model is the one that I would actually recommend now. I wouldn't have to hit the octave up and down button just quite so often in the middle of a passage, for instance. It's super lightweight and portable. The battery lasts forever. I don't think I've ever actually even changed the battery on this. If for some reason the battery did die, it does have a USB the cable that you could connect to your iPad if you had all the cables and dongles necessary. If money isn't con a concern, there's also the X key Air, which is also a Bluetooth model, but it's, it's just super sleek, super thin, super portable. Uh, I was on a budget, so that's why I got this Korg Micro Key Air. I think it works spectacularly. It does everything I need it to, but if money was a, con a concern, I, I would go for the, the super sleek uh, X key air model. Finally, I don't have one of these personally, but I see a lot of musicians that do, and I think they're super cool. It that makes you look really professional to have one of these iPad stand mounts. Uh, the reason I don't have one is that I primarily perform from piano and organ, and that's got a, a music rack already built in. I don't need a, a stand to hold my iPad most of the time. If I did, I would get one. I think it looks really sleek and professional when everyone in the ensemble or the band or the orchestra or whatever has one. I see a lot of worship teams, for instance, that will use this. You hardly even notice the iPad is there, which really helps connect you with your audience. Uh, so like even a string quartet, if, when they all have one, I think it really 
connects them to the audience. And isn't that the goal with your music making? It's not having a giant stand blocking your entire view uh, of you and them. Or if you're performing with, say, as a, as a vocalist playing guitar and it, you already have a mic stand, you can clips right on your mic stand, which I think is also super sleek. You really don't notice it then because the mic stand's already there. Things that I would look for is, is have some support on the top and bottom so it locks in your iPad, especially uh, you want your sides free so you can keep your Apple Pencil right there. And again, this is something that I, I wouldn't just get the, the cheapest option out there. You want something strong and sturdy that won't knock your iPad down. You know, make sure your iPad is well protected and that the stand and the iPad will last. So there you go. There's my favorite iPad accessories for musicians to take your Foursquare experience to the next level. Let me know in the comments below what accessories do you use that you love? Let's share them with each other and uh, go check out what other people are saying. If you have other questions on Foursquare, you can check out this video here where I dive into my favorite features and settings that I use in Foursquare. Thanks and have a great day.